All right, welcome to another episode of Farm Like a Hero, folks. I'm Richard Perkins. Today I'm here with Gert Blanchard of Molenkorte. It's in Belgium. It's a half hectare little micro farm, super interesting operation that's built around a 2,000 square meter commercial greenhouse that was previously used for commercial flower production and then abandoned about 20 years ago, which is situated about six kilometers from the center of Ghent. And now renovated and back into production in a no-dig system, Gertz even built his house inside the greenhouse. So I'm super excited to hear about that setup. Outdoors, there's also 2,000 square meters of market garden with a small flock of laying hens. And they move through the cover crops as well as some grass pathways in, in the surrounding space. And it's an exciting collaboration going on with the neighbors who are installing a half hectare of food forests in the form of orchards and herb gardens, which beautifully complements the enterprise. And they've worked together on water management, installing ponds and hedgerows together. They sell produce locally via CSA baskets and direct to restaurants from April through to Christmas. So super exciting episode today. Gerd, thank you so much for taking the time out to join us today. Thank you. Welcome, yeah, nice to have you on. And maybe you can just give us a bit of the backstory of how you came to farming like did you grow up around production or were you doing other jobs before i did some jobs before but my uh, grandfather was a market gardener in uh, the same uh, village that i live now and my two uncles were too so um i grew up around their farms um and they had greenhouses too around the city of Ghent, which is um, like a city of 250,000 people. Um, it's really close, like uh, six kilometers. So um, that was my background, but I, I really wasn't planning to, to become a farmer. Um, but um, and my, my job was for, for more than 10 years uh, uh, working in a, like a social workspace where I worked with people, yeah, we call it with a, a long, with a long distance to the job market. So, um, and my job was um, was green management. So um, we had to manage the workspace, uh, and we did mainly um, management of um, nature reserves and and um, um, community parks and, and stuff like that. And my background of, of, um, of the, the market gardeners in the family uh, made me think of, of yeah, joining those two, green management and, 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 um, and working in that part. And, and then, so why, why wouldn't I grow things uh, or, or um, manage things that, that you can eat, of course. And it's quite an unusual site in the sense that you've also built your home inside the greenhouse, right? Can you tell well, us a bit about that? I didn't build it myself. Uh, I bought a place uh, three years ago with a house already in it. Um, and I thought it, would, it was kind of strange, but when I told my father, who is from the region, uh, of course, and he, he said, well, yeah, it was what people did. They built um, a, a, an expensive greenhouse and then they, uh, they, they don't have any money anymore. So they think, well, maybe we can, we can build a little shed in the greenhouse and we can live there for two years and then we can go on. <laughs> I don't know the people who, who started here, but um, I, I guess the two years became 10 years and then and then they stopped farming or they or, or they moved and, and and the people who bought the place after the the commercial growers they didn't do anything with farming um, i guess the only thing that happened in, in in the greenhouse that had anything to do with farming was maybe the occasional row of tomatoes every two years or so i, I don't know nothing more uh, so it was abandoned and not used for growing for, for more than 20 years. To listen in to unedited long-form conversation, I'm super excited to announce the Farm Like a Hero experience is now live 
Our 2020 special features more than 70 interviews with Europe's best regenerative farmers in long-form conversation, weekly Q&A sessions with myself, as well as the private Facebook community. Our Epic Hero membership is now only open until June the 11th, so join now at farmlikeahero.com and we'll see you in there.